Hey guys, I've been working on my long term review of the Galaxy A71 from Samsung. But recently, it received a major update which adds a lot of cool features as well as makes the whole UI a lot more responsive. So I thought, let's make a dedicated video about the software experience of the Galaxy A71, which I feel is one of the biggest selling points of this phone. So, in this video, we'll check out some of the new features added to the A71, as well as some of my favorite features of One UI in general. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. Starting with the camera improvements, you get the single take mode, which was first introduced with the S20 series. In this mode, the camera keeps recording for 10 seconds and then presents you with a range of videos and photos from which you can choose. This is pretty cool and convenient. Unlike the watered down version of Pro Mode in the past, with this update you get a full fledged Pro Mode with full control over ISO, shutter speed, white balance, as well as manual focusing with focus peaking assistance as well. Jumping to the performance improvements, this phone feels so much faster and smoother with this update. And even synthetic benchmarks tell the same story. In terms of UI improvements, Samsung has added quick share to this phone. So now you can share big files with other phones using Wi-Fi. Here I am sharing this 1GB file. Just see how fast the transfer speed is. You can now instantly translate your text to another language directly from the Samsung keyboard just like Google Keyboard, which can be really useful at times. Quick Crop is another useful and convenient feature. Basically, when you zoom and crop into a photo in the gallery, you can instantly save the current view as another photo. This update also brings the security patch level to June 2020. So these were some of the new features and improvements added to A71 with the One UI 2.1 update. Now let's talk about some of my favorite features of One UI in general. Starting with the edge panels, these fully customizable and always available panels add so much convenience in daily use. You can have app pairs to quickly use two apps at once, or you can access your favorite apps quickly in full screen or floating window mode, or you can use pin to screen for quick references. There are a lot of edge panels available, all with different uses. One UI has one of the best implementations of always on display. First of all, you get a lot of clock faces and colors. You can double tap on any notification to directly open the app. You can also double tap on the clock to reveal additional options like brightness control and music control. All these options are quite useful from time to time. Coming to good lock. This is where Samsung hides all its crazy features. These features are mainly targeted towards power users who like to tweak everything to their liking, like me. Starting with Lockstar, this is where you can customize your lock screen to your heart's content. You can move everything, enable or disable various elements, and also change their style. If you want to spice up the look of your task switcher screen, task changer is the way to go you get so many options to choose from. Multistar lets you take your multitasking game to the next level. With this enabled, you can change any app into a floating window and you can have several such floating windows to make the best use of the massive screen. Navstar lets you add more buttons to the navigation bar and also change their look. Theme Park lets you make your own themes based on your wallpaper or any image in your gallery. There are loads of options to ensure that the theme is exactly as you envisioned it. One Hand Operations Plus is one of my favorite features and is so popular that Samsung decided to make it available outside Goodlock and downloadable via the Play Store. With this, you can add gestures to both sides of the screen. Currently, I've set up the back button, notification shade, quick screenshot and switch to previous apps to the right handle and quick tools like the flashlight to the left handle. This has become a must-have feature for any phone that I use as my daily driver. 
So these were some of my favorite good luck features. Bixby Routines is another cool feature to have where you can automate several actions based on your location or time of the day. For example, when you are about to sleep, you can have your screen brightness reduced, dark mode and blue light filter enabled, sound mode set to mute and Spotify set to play your sleep playlist. All of this done automatically based on the sleep time you have set. Super convenient. Game plugins let you have different performance profiles for each game as well as monitor your performance indicators while gaming as well as after your gameplay sessions. With one UI, you not only have a dedicated one-handed mode, but the entire UI is optimized for one-hand use. This is especially useful nowadays as the phone displays have gotten so much bigger and beyond the reach of normal hands. So these are some of my favorite features of one UI. These are features that you generally don't get with any other Android skin. These features are not for everyone and in fact can feel a bit overwhelming to some. But for those who really like to tinker with all the UI elements and fully customize the phone to their liking, this is the best and most capable Android based UI in the market and therefore my favorite Android skin of all time. Alright that's the end of the video, hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Please like, comment and share this video and subscribe to this channel for more informative videos and quality tech reviews. Thanks for watching and have a nice day, take care.